guys what is up and welcome back to my channel and so today's video i'm going to be making and packaging necklaces and showing you how i ship them step by step and what i think the best website is for shipping packages and so with saying all that check out my etsy shop <laughs> i'm currently having a sale right now buy one get one 40 percent off and i extended the date to july 20th so go ahead and get some before they sell out because i'm going to be selling out of all of them whether it's online or in person so they're not going to be there for long all right and so today i'm going to be making these silver dragonfly necklaces and i'm also going to sell these in person so hurry up and get yours before they're gone so i was working on these yesterday but i didn't get to finish all my chain I'm just gonna go ahead and use up all my chain and make as many of these necklaces as I can. So here I have four pre-made ones and here I have one, two, three, four, five on my little supply bag. And all these chains are at least 16 inches. This little kit here is from Amazon and you can get pliers for cheap at Amazon. And these dragonfly pendants are also from Amazon. So yeah, this is basically everything I'm gonna use to make this right now. The lobster claws that I'm gonna use are loose in here so I'm not gonna like take all of them out. And then these are the jump rings I'm gonna use. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take some jump rings out and I'm just gonna start opening and closing all of them. If you need an in-depth tutorial, I already made a video about it. It's gonna be linked somewhere here and in the description if you want to go see that. So for right now, I'm gonna be doing this separate from the necklace. I don't know why, I feel like it's less moving around a whole chain, which makes it more likely to fall and stuff. So I just think it's easier doing it like this. So I mainly aim for about 10 to 12 jump rings. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse this whole thing because it's gonna take way too long. All right, so I already made two necklaces and I only have three chains left. So when I'm done with the jump rings, I tried to leave the last one open, but I always forget. So I'm gonna open this one right now and just put it through the chain. So it looks like that. And then take out two more jump rings, one for the claw and one for the pendant. And that's how a complete necklace looks. Now I only have two more left and I'll just go ahead and finish that one. All right, so I just finished all the dragonfly butterflies. I mean, I said that so confidently too. All the dragonfly necklaces. So these are all the necklaces and there's nine in total. All right, so now I'm going to be packaging one right now. It looks like this, but to keep it from moving when it ships, I'm gonna be taping the back. So I'm gonna lift this and tape the back there so now it won't be moving to the side or anything. All right, so now that we're done with the necklaces, I'm gonna show you how I ship. First, a computer. You don't necessarily need a computer because you can access the website that I'm about to tell you on your phone. I've done it before and I've bought and printed out shipping labels just from off my phone. So for shipping, you do need a printer in some sort of way. You don't need to own a printer. You can go to any library. I did this only once and most likely you would need to have a Gmail and you don't even necessarily need a Gmail. You just need an email, but it would be easier for a Gmail and let me explain. So the way I did it, I went into a library and they asked me if I had a Gmail account. I was like, I was like, yes. So if you get a shipping label on your phone, you can send that to your Gmail because most computers have Google on it and you can just sign into your Gmail. So if you send a PDF, you can just open it on the computer and then print to the library's printer. So that's what makes it the easiest. But if you have any other email, it works the same way. It would just take a little longer because you would have to go to your email's website and then sign in and everything. Right now, I'm going to show you how it looks like on the computer. So the website that I use to show in packages is called pirateship.com. It's free to create an account. Um, I already have one, so I'm gonna log in. And I'm gonna have to blur out a lot of information here. So it has these three options. This one, you can just put in anyone's information, all the packages information. And when you hit get rates, it tells you how much it costs. Um, I've never had to use upload a spreadsheet. So this one is the one that I use most of the time. Because the good thing about this one is that you can link a lot of your selling accounts to Pirate Ship, so you don't ever have to manually put in anything. It'll just import the information from orders and just give you a price. So that makes it really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and press on that one. And so this is how it looks like when I get an order and it's already imported. And I wish someone told me this when I had multiple orders, so I didn't have to waste like a whole piece of paper just for one shipping label. When you have multiple, I only have one right now. When you have multiple, 
press this little box and then press the next little box and then it'll give you an option to print out two on the same paper but you can only do that after you buy your shipping labels so i'm gonna go ahead and do that first so i can show you how it looks like to buy a shipping label let's see here i have my shopify and etsy account already linked so they will already automatically show up on here right now i'm just gonna click get rates and here's a really convenient thing too that you can save your packages so depending on what they order it'll already show the total weight so dragonfly necklaces if they're just ordering one dragonfly necklace it'll automatically be 0.79 ounces if they ordered a butterfly necklace i already have that saved as like 0.8 i think so you can have package weights already saved so you don't have to put in any package information because it's already there i'm just gonna change this and that's basically everything you do once you get everything set up and so it has the customer's information at the very top, and I'm not going to show that. You also put in your address, but as my address, I have the post office address. So it'll just calculate how much it'll be just to send that package to the location. So for this one specifically. All right, and so up here in this little square, it has all the information just so you can check like everyone's address and, and what they ordered and everything. So, so for this package, it's going to cost me $3.35. And the good thing about this website is that it automatically gives you the cheapest option that they have. And so down here it says that I'm going to be charged $3 to my bank account. So you do need to have some sort of debit card because you can only buy these through online. You can also use a PayPal account. You can use a Cash App account, I'm pretty sure. I've never tried it, but I'm pretty sure it works just like a normal debit card. So yeah, and at the very end it just says buy label. So I'll just be paying for this right now. <laughs> So this is showing where the package is going to be going. So the label's already bought. Now I'm just going to go to the very top. But then there's also this big button right here. And it's really easy to just print label. And it shows you how it'll look like on a piece of paper. But right now I don't have a printer. So I would just like send this to my parents or I would just send it to my phone. Okay, the first time I sent it to my phone number. But honestly, now that it's bought, if I log in on my phone, it'll already show it. So I can just print that later. At least now I have somebody with a printer that I can go to. When this prints, you would just have to cut this out and tape it on your package and just drop it off at whichever carrier that you're gonna use. I use USPS because I also think that it has the best prices for smaller packages, but for bigger ones, I think it'd be like FedEx or something like that. But yeah, that's basically all the information on shipping. I am gonna have to do this later though, so I might show me packaging it later. I would just have to just have to be somewhere else other than here <laughs> yeah it's pretty simple if you have any more questions let me know in the comments and yeah that is basically everything that i can explain right now that i can think of and that also means that i'm done with my package all right so now i'm going to be putting up the necklaces that i already made i usually put them in this really big jewelry box hopefully they don't tangle up so the other day like i said i'm going to be selling in person and i didn't know how to transport my necklaces without them getting all tangled up because it takes so long to untangle them and so I came up with this. So I got two pieces of tape, one shorter than the main one. So when you put the short one in the middle, there will be two sticky ends and you just like wrap it around and it comes out like this. It's been in this box for a few days in a book bag. So I kind of expected them to be tangled up by now, but they're not. I just made a discovery. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I did the same thing with the butterfly ones and with these gold butterfly ones. So now I'm going to do that with this and I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to put them side by side really close and I try and clip each necklace closed because I'm pretty sure that makes it less likely for them to tangle on the ends. So now I'm just going to get some tape, get a pretty de decent piece and then one smaller than that and then put it in the middle. My phone died so if things look different that's why. <laughs> and there. I'm just going to put it in the box put it over here and now I'm just going to put everything I'm back in my supply bag <laughs> so yeah i'm basically done with everything i hope this video was informational in some kind of way and i'm just gonna go ahead and end the video right here if you stuck all the way till the end i really appreciate you and everyone that watches my videos so if you want more content like this let me know and i'll see you guys in my next video bye